So I found this mirror on Facebook Marketplace and because I have no chill, I decided to turn it into this disco ball mirror. I made a quick trip to the Home Depot to pick up a bunch of cans of spray foam to build up the frame and drag the mirror into the garage. I started by putting down a base layer of spray foam and then once that was dry, I went in to add the more bulgy forms. I didn't want it super bulgy like the inspiration image, but I also didn't want it flat, so we're making a happy medium here. Once the spray foam is dry, I go in with a razor knife and trimmed the spray foam so the forms are more smooth and shaped. Here's where things get messy. I started off using plaster of Paris, but I wasn't super in love with how it was working, so I pivoted and switched to using drywall joint compound mixed with water and Elmer's glue over some cheesecloth. I think that worked a little better, definitely less brittle, although I don't think I would use my hands because with the Elmer's glue in there, it got real sticky. Then I sanded it all down to smooth things out and it needed a second coat of joint compound. This time I didn't add the glue and used my fingers to try to get it as smooth as possible to avoid extra sanding time. My disco mirrors are tiny, so I wanna make sure the surface is smooth so they'll stick well. Next, I'll be priming and spending approximately 1 million hours putting the disco mirrors on the frame, so stay tuned to see how this thing turns out.